Well, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. If you guys uh, read the like description of my last video, my little short one, um, you know that I had all of this kind of broken up in segments, but I had all of this sketchbook um, already recorded and then because of my dumb phone, uh, stuff happened and I had to delete it all. So, we're going to hope that we can get through this all in one shot with the camera facing the right way and give and finally get this out to you guys. So here's my sketchbook and I got this for Christmas and I finished it a couple of days ago. A couple of weeks ago, I guess. So we start off with just Animal Crossing because my simple style has opened up a lot of different concepts for me of drawing Animal Crossing characters. Um, some Hive Swap characters, that's the new from some requests. Right after I got this, I started dipping into some requests I took. But lots of Homestuck, because I got back into Homestuck for a bit, trying to draw characters. Oh, this is... I have no idea who she is, actually. But I drew her, and she's... I like her. Maybe I'll use her sometime. But I have a lot of stuff from uh, for Hive Swap, because I was really pumped for it at the time. When it was going to release in January. Now it's almost the end of... February, so I can kind of assume how that went. Some nice doodles. I just really love Damic and Zephros as Moirails. It's, I want it. Here are some characters I really want to write another time at some point. It would be so cute, except I have to, for the storyline, I have to have like legit 10 different worlds fleshed out, so... We'll see if I ever get around to that. So in case you guys are curious, mostly why I have all of my work recently, my videos has been on lined paper, is because my sketchbook that I have after this, um, and actually the two I have after this, are all really like fancy ones. And so I didn't feel right using up pages for those. So I've been working on lined paper which is partially why I haven't gotten to any of the requests recently is because, I don't know, part of me feels like they deserve more. The other half of me is, I don't know, it really does de depend on what tickles my fancy at the moment. Uh, these are pissed off grapes because I had to read Grapes of Wrath for school. I'm proud of that picture. We have some rows, some random doodles. Hopefully I'll get to some of those requests eventually, but... I think I've said this, that there's no guarantee, really, that I'll ever get to them. That's supposed to be Matuna. And a cool braid concept. These are some more Brownie Foxes characters. Who they asked me to draw. I really love these two. I felt like those two turned out really well. Somebody brought up Zephyros using Broomkind, which I think would be legit. Like I said, lots of homestuck in the beginning of this. Uh, that's one of my friends, kind of god tier. It's supposed to be Sylph of light, but I was too proud of the legs to cover them up with a skirt, so I gave her pants instead. These are someone, someone on Tumblr, can't think of their um, username right now, uh, had this whole um, typing quirk theory or whatever, so I kind of implemented that for Damic. Here are some of the different side characters just fun to try and experiment with. A quick comic. You can check this comic out on my Tumblr. Here are some. I made some Carapation OCs, but mostly this page is mostly just trying to figure out how I want to design, draw Carapations. I think that's supposed to be Wayward Vagabond. Kind of some screen redraws, but they didn't really turn out that well, and they're mostly sketchy. Uh, to-do list and some rover from Animal Crossing because like I said I realized my style fits Animal Crossing pretty well some more Carapation OCs some of my personal OCs and brownie foxes uh, this is based on a dream I had which was actually pretty legit so I'm sorry I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm a little sick um so basically the, basically the idea is that there's a group of friends and they play a game kind of Homestuck-esque, 
but their roles in the game are all determined by like a draw of cards and so the main character draws the warrior card and so it becomes like the warrior or what whatnot and when their um game starts to go to crap there's this ball of light that appears and kind of helps them out and it turns out that it's actually the um main character uh from a different universe where they played the game that punched through that universe and came to this universe and in that universe she, she was a priestess slash mage or something i don't know it was pretty cool and i enjoyed it a lot some more of my care patient oc who now has a floppy hat and that kind of stays for the rest of the idea this is based on one of Toasty Hat's fan fictions, uh, Spellbound, there's a scene in it that I really liked, and so I decided to try my hand at a quick little comic. It didn't turn out great, and it's not 100% accurate to what happened in the story, but I'm still pretty proud of it. Let me just get back into more doodles and... That's a, uh, I have not played Sun or, Pokemon Sun and Moon yet, sadly, but my friend Brownie Fox has, and so she wanted me to draw that character for her. S what if the signless met Joey? I just think it would be awesome, because I really want the ancestors to be in Hive Swap. Some more floppy hat care patient. That's in one of my story ideas. Oh, look, that's Mariah Reynolds. Well then, some surprise Hamilton for you guys really quickly some sketches and then we get back to that's an amigo of mine from school that I drew here's some more doodles here's some concept because I've just really I don't know if you guys can tell but I really enjoyed Prince of Egypt AU for Link Raised by Gerudos some lyrics from Heathers some OC's more Oh yeah, and then Floppy Hat Care Patient got Beanie Dursight as their friend. Um, working out different things that I need to work out for a story idea that I've kind of actually benched for now, but we'll see if I don't get back to it eventually. Some more Gerudo AU. Ah, uh, Naburu, the queen. Ugh, stomach. Some more OCs, working out mechanics of some different stuff. OCs. So in my story, right now it's called the Barax. Um, there's a royalty of the universe and it's a matriarchy. And there's, I can't remember how many families, but. <sighs> oh, sorry. Um, they're all named after the noble elements. So like they're the nobility and the noble elements. <laughs> Gotta love chemistry, right? Um, here's some lifeline characters. Here's some OCs. I love her. Somebody I'll write about her. Some more Another Time, Zephyros. And in case you're curious, all, both Zephyros and Damix God Tears that I draw are completely fan made because I just really thought that they would make up their own God Tears, like how they made up their own ancestors. This is from Song of the Ancestors. Playing around with colors. More concepts. I enjoy antlers. Antlers are fun. To be honest, trolls are just fun to draw. I'm sorry, they are. And then trying to figure out, I spent some time trying to figure out how I wanted Ganon's hair to look when he was younger. And then this is the plagues. Good times. And then this was originally what was going to be the last picture of it, but I wasn't thrilled with it. Mostly because it's a cop-out of drawing armor by just giving him armored shoulder pads. Which really doesn't make sense. I just don't want to draw armor. Then we get into Breathe. Some random person with a mace that I don't remember. This is when I finished up Peace and Love on the Planet Earth. Because I really wanted to eventually finish it. Even though, even if I'm not completely satisfied with it, I wanted to be able to say, say I was done with it. And then, because I love that input design from the, that I drew for that so much, I kind of fleshed it out a bit more. And so this is kind of my own fan-made input design now. Some more of the care patients. Uh, the Dursite uses a chair leg, but or a table leg. They also have a secondary strife specibus, but they don't use it. And Floppy Hat uses ball and chain or bouquet. 
Here are some of my OCs for a story. Lots of OCs now because I was trying to flesh out the story and decide the characters. The Dursite and the Carapacian have, I kind of turned them into characters for the story. So they live on. What if Link had um, ice skates? I'm pumped for Breath of the Wild because we finally got to see what Zelda looks like. Oh, I'm so pumped for that. I'm so going to try to get my hands on it. I really hope I succeed. Sorry, I know that I only have limited memory on my phone, so I'm trying to go pretty decently fast. Oh, I finally watched Voltron. That's what this is. That's not Lord Stroll's gem AU. Because I really am hoping to get this out to you guys. I really love Monaka, though. She's a sweetheart. She's my OC. We get into some pen stuff. There's Keith. My friend, Brownie Fox, is um, coming up with a Paranatural AU for Voltron, so this is me trying to help them design some spirits. That's one of my OCs. Floppy hat. Draw the squad for Supernaturalists. That's the Carapacian, except now he's Shady Courier. My favorite, Briar. Briar, my son, my child, the life of my life, Tarchan. Coming up with some more characters for the story, because it really is. Like, all my stories tend to be ensemble cast, and then I screw myself over because I can't come up with that many characters. A bad Naburu, but the side braid is what I ended up keeping with her. Um, Hylian Mogma. Um, that's KK Slider. Rosie, another rover design, if you caught that one from earlier. Then we get into what's the use of feeling blue. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Briar with, um, not necessarily his son, but kind of like his son. Um, I have a OC because I really want sometime to write a Voltron fic where it's about some random alien that becomes the Black Paladin after the events of season two. Just because I think it would be an interesting dynamic of nobody really feels like they belong anymore. Um, more OCs. Because it would be, it would focus mostly on the fact that he doesn't feel like he belongs and the team doesn't feel like he belongs, but they have to make it work. Love her. She's one of my OCs. Some of Brownie Fox's OCs. Gerudo Link. Some more... That's Rawlis, my Impa. And then I, there's Silas, my boy, my light, the light of my life, with his slime, his goo. And then his cousin. And that's pretty much it for this. I drew that for a friend. Oh, so that's that notebook. Um, I might cut out at any moment, so if I do, then thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much, guys, for your support. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I just want to show you guys, I hoard my sketchbooks like crazy. I have them shoved in between my dresser and my bookshelf, and then the last drawer of my dresser is just, oh, that is my awesome folder from fourth grade. Good times. Fourth grade, am I right? These are all my sketchbooks. I have stuff that goes back pretty far. So if you guys ever want, I can show you more sketchbooks. I'll probably break them up into two-parters, though. Just so I don't have to worry about time like I did today. Um, but we've skipped a few from the past few months. So I can show you guys those. I can show you guys some of my crazy old stuff. But in general, feel free to talk to me about what you guys want to see from my channel. I'd love some time to do some like Let's Plays kind of thing. Except I don't have any of the equipment for that. So maybe someday. Someday I'd like to do speed paints. Except I don't have equipment to digital draw. So maybe someday. But in general, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!